He's asking 385. Our ARV came out to 360. The market rent is 1750. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah. Are you are you guys just being super conservative with your ARVs? I don't know. Me and John had a conversation about this today because I said in Blair's video, like he doesn't, he says, don't be super conservative with it because then you start losing, right? Yeah. As you do like the repairs and you yeah. become conservative with each number in the valuation. And then you're left with like a pretty skimpy offer or whatever ARV. But um, I, I think that, I think we are from my point of view, but. What yeah a little conservative yeah because we're trying to get like the exact comparables mm -hmm. and as exact as we can um and then we we look at also the interior so like if it's like granite countertops and just beautiful inside and this one's just like mid-grade well we're gonna go a little bit under for our arv compared to those other ones right that are done up real nice so, but in, in my opinion that's that's the wrong way to look at it jeff might disagree but what we're trying to find with the arv is what is the most that particular house could sell for if it was in tip top shape right. so if you found a comp that's in tip top shape i would use that as the comp don't come in under that because just because your subject property is not up to snuff compared to that property we're trying to find we're not necessarily trying to find the value, the as-is value today of your house. We're trying to okay. find what is the potential value, the most it could be, if you put all the money into it and fix it up really nice. That's what the ARV should be. Okay. And so you're, the most important thing is what? Square footage, same bedrooms, baths, or like what, what do we absolutely yes. want to hit? <laughs> all well, yeah, for sure. Like all of them, but you know, if, if we're having a hard time finding the same bedroom or something like that, there's only. If you're a three, two and you want to compare to a four, two, it's pretty similar, a little bit more. I want to go to a two, two, um, you know, it's a bigger hit. Uh, what, what are the differences? Give us a sense of what you're talking about. Well, sometimes when we do ARVs, like it's a four bedroom house, but we can only find three bedroom house and we'll go up to like 1.5 miles uh, radius and you, you can still you can only use find the a three twos um just and you just you can bump up that arv accordingly but you're better off taking the highest price for the three two and probably using that more than likely if you've got a four two in a neighborhood of all three twos and they're older homes somebody's either added on something or they've done an illegal split and just created their own bedroom okay and then um, if they're like a um, hundred thousand off, like do you kind of just scrap that comparable? Cause it's just so out to lunch. Potentially. I mean, you, you gotta look at, okay, all these sales, these transactions that happened, some of these are not gonna apply because they're gonna be the distressed sales that are way low. You're talking about a hundred thousand low or a hundred thousand high? hundred thousand high higher that, than like several yeah. other comparables in the area like you yeah, would just scrap that no i yeah that's an outlier i think i wouldn't use okay. that there's something else there um okay you're not you're not looking at we had one like that today in our our team meeting that uh, was in pennsylvania i think and there was oil wells there's three oil wells on the property it came with it you got all the mineral rights the oil rights the gas rights all that kind of stuff and you know the comps were all like 185 and this one was like 550 um, you know, yeah, th there's a reason for the fact it's 300 higher than everybody else. And it's because you've got mineral rights, which just don't happen to be worth anything today, but <laughs> you know, cause gas is, they're giving it away. But, um, you know, those, those would be, that would be an example of the kind of reasons you'd have a hundred, $200,000 difference or something else there that you're look you're not looking at. Okay. Okay, or, so or you've got this, if the seller is saying it's worth a hundred more than everybody else, then once again, go back, go back to, you know, he's, he's on crack or meth or something because he just pulling it out of his backside. It doesn't, it's not real. Yeah. Or, or just out. ask him, like, just do the whole Colombo thing. Like, gosh, you know, I'm looking at all these other houses. They sold for 300. 
why would yours be worth 400 and have him sell you on it? Maybe yeah. there's something you don't know about it. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just, dude, I'm confused. Explain yeah. to me. People like to help. You know, I really need help. I can't figure this one out. Thank <laughs> you.